Hey Star Wars action figure collectors and Black Series people, that didn't sound right. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, got a couple of Black Series figures. Decided to do a bit of a double up with some of these Andor figures. Um, because I know that it's just the way it is. I know these figures aren't the most exciting for some people. Um, I myself uh, absolutely obsessed with Andor. Beautiful, incredible series. Um, but in terms of these reviews, I just decided no. Let's let's make a couple of reviews into into two here. So um, first up, we're going to be looking at Mon Mothma and Luthan Rail, and in the next video, we're going to be looking at Cassian and Bix Kaleen. So we're going to get on these, get them out nice and quick. Um, just because I thought it'd be cool to do a double up with some of these that you know, particularly Mon Mothma, that's an amazing figure, not a lot going on. Same with Luthan. Um, Great detail, amazing figure, great likeness of Stellan Skarsgård. Um, probably one of the coolest characters brought into Star Wars in recent years. Um, I just really like the sort of the political intrigue around uh, the Andor series and the story that it's trying to tell. The struggles of particularly Mon Mothma. I think she's a, I mean, for Genevieve O'Reilly to sort of come back and play the character after having her initial scenes in Revenge of the Sith deleted um, some years ago. Um, I think it's absolutely fantastic. You now I just want to adjust my light just a little. Uh, I think it's absolutely fantastic she's been able to come back and just portray so much emotion into the role, as well as her appearance in Rogue One, and she's going to make another appearance coming up in Ahsoka. Um, somewhat in the future, I think. So I think that's really good. Really excited for that. Um, yeah, just seeing the struggles of a senator trying to rebel in a, you know, in a politically corrupt environment that has eyes everywhere, ears everywhere. It's it's something that she's struggling to do. She's struggling to find alliances, um, which is ultimately the big sort of plan, isn't it? To have a, a rebel alliance. camera doesn't like those lights so we're just going to look at the figure as she is I know my lighting isn't 100% wonderful right now but it's it's a work in progress but uh, yeah she's, she's a nicely made figure I'm really glad to have a Mon Mothma I think a Return of the Jedi Mon Mothma would definitely be nice to have at some point yeah wonderful wonderful likeness there very simple details again with the sort of sleeves it's not a soup they've given her a trigger finger there's not really a lot you can do with that um, I don't even think they gave her a gun if they did it's uh, somewhere in another mix of accessories I don't think they did but that's okay I can give you the option but yeah very very regal sort of character yeah it's just definitely going to be one to be excited to see more of in season two of Andor whenever that sort of picks up I know they have shot some scenes between her and, and Cassie and Andor so they do have a meeting at some point but yeah there's one Mothma it's a really nice figure nice addition to the Andor collection and here we have Luthan Rail really great character he is definitely the highlight of the show for me. Um, yeah, just absolutely outstanding performance by Stellan. Um, I hope they do another version of Luthan in his sort of shopkeeper outfit um, with the wig and all that. I think that would be absolutely fantastic. But I do love this sort of this outfit, this utilitarian sort of trench coat with hood, you know, undercover doing what he needs to do. He does come with a gun. Right there. And no holster. So you can display it without, obviously. You take it out of his hands. And we have this other object which appeared in the series. 
So it appears to be just like a twisted blade. A lot of speculation as to whether it was a, a lightsaber, whether this guy was a Jedi before the Empire came and took over. But look at that likeness, that is so good. It's fantastic. So as you can see, the basic outfit underneath Big baggy cargo pants, he's got the suspenders, boots. But yeah, the, the big coat is uh, what keeps him sort of a little bit more of a... I don't know, it gives him a bit more of a commanding presence on screen, particularly with the, the size of the sort of coat and, and everything like that. From all accounts, he's quite a tall fellow as well, so... So yeah, these are two, two great figures from two fantastic characters I'm looking forward to seeing more of in Season 2. I'd absolutely love to hear your thoughts on Andor, what'd you think? It's a little less, uh, well it's very much less sort of Star Wars adventure than it is sort of the political intrigue side, the spying, the the undercover, the the sort of ruthlessness of how the Empire is impacting the little guy. Um, which is sort of very important in today's society. There's um, a lot of author authoritarian control and, and things like that that a lot of the public isn't aware of. And um, not that I'm a... Not that I'm a, a cynic like that, but... Um, yeah, I think there's a lot of cases in, in the real world where, where that sort of comes to fruition more often than not. So, I'd like, and again, love to hear your thoughts on these two figures and the Andor series as a whole. Please send out in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Um, stay tuned. Got Cassian and Bix Colleen coming right up. Till then, may the force be with you always.